Let's say you started going to a gym and you're trying to find supplements to buy or you're going to a gym for a long time and you're not sure the supplements that you're buying are effective or not. In this video, I'll tell you what to buy, what not to buy and uh, what brands are good enough. So yeah, let's get into it. So the number one supplement in your collection is most likely going to be protein. Protein is very useful for when you're straight out of the gym and you need to get a better protein in, obviously. Or like your meal didn't have enough protein, you gotta catch up, you just get a protein shake in and you're fine. I mean, for the most part. And the ones that you wanna be looking at are the ones with the whey isolate in them. This one's a whey protein, obviously says, but it's multiple times like whey. The ones that I have are uh, whey isolate and uh, whey concentrate. And whey isolate gets absorbed better. The other ones that also exist is um, casein protein, which digests for longer. So people say it's better to drink before bedtime, but I, I would just suggest isolate. And then there's plant protein, which doesn't give you as much acne, but it's also not as well absorbed as whey isolate. So the one that I have is um, lean whey. This flavor is absolutely horrific. Horrific is a, it's, it's a bad word, right? Yeah, it's bad. So the smell is, it's like, it's like ash mixed with uh, maple syrup. And um, it's a bit too much, but you eventually will have to get used to crazy artificial smells with supplements because they often resort to that to get some sort of flavor. So this one I have for white isolate because it's the best sort of, how to say, Protein for your muscles, but if I bought this one by mistake, I should have bought a Musashi. Musashi protein is much tastier, and the blend is pretty good, and usually it's pretty cheap. So yeah, I recommend Musashi if you live in Australia. Another one that I have is protein water. Protein water is, um, plus it says collagen plus whey. It, it tastes horrible. I bought it to try it, and I do not recommend buying protein water, it's too much. Just mix with normal shakes of water. Protein water is, it's like pre workout but twice as sweet, at least this brand, a Muscle Nation, it's like pre workout but twice as sweet, and um, I don't like the feeling that it leaves in your mouth, it's like, it leaves like a, like a film of like slime, so yeah, it's so nice. The ones that do taste nice, but are not way, way isolated are these ones, the custard proteins. These ones you mix with like, Greek yogurt or like water and then you make like little, how to say, cream thingy, bowls, sort of thing. Yeah, so, or you could just put in water and drink it, but it's not going to be as good. Yeah, so you mix, in, you mix them into little like ice cream bowls. And these one tastes very good, but they're pretty expensive, so I only get them when I see them on sale. Uh, I'd say this one's better because they have like little, little crunchy bits. For the ones that I don't have, uh, and like I said, Masashi is good. That's pretty much the only other good protein that I can name right now. But the ones that are bad are Nitro Tech. I remember it was horrible. I forgot the name of the other one. And then there's, there's like this Nature Way, like vegan protein. It, it did not mix at all. Like I, I was drinking water with protein clumps and not a protein shake. So yeah, don't don't cheap out. I really advise you to go around and um, ask some people what they like. I like Musashi and I like these ones, but maybe ask some other like gym bros or whatever, what they like in terms of protein and try to find, try to actually put some time into researching protein because you will spend a lot of time drinking it and you don't want it to be bad. Then second most important supplement that I will tell you to put into your collection is a creatine. I have barely any left in this bag and um, I got it from Coles, but creatine, it, it's really hard to mess up. The only thing you have to be searching for is um, creatine monohydrate. Anything else is just the fancier versions that are not necessarily more effective. You want to get in like three to six grams of creatine and uh, the rumors about bolding are not true. They don't make you bold. The only, they don't make you bloated. They just give you like a bit of a bit more muscle endurance and a bit more muscle um, fullness, and it's a very safe 
an effective supplement for what it is. And, and you're still natty on it, so. Like a $20, it used to be cheaper. Now it's like 20 bucks for a bag, which is pretty sad, like the inflation. But like $20 lasts you like, let's say two months, and two months of uh, extra, like one or 2% gains is worth it. Third thing you should be getting in your supplement list. It's not even a third thing, it's a bunch of things. Um, I'll give you like a few advices on what supplements you should get. But pretty much this third level is um, just general supplements like vitamins, uh, fish oils, uh, like herbs, all that stuff. Stuff that will like give you a bit more boost, but like it's not that important. You should you should be getting it out of your diet if you if you eat well. So the ones that I have are magnesium, calcium, and D three. D three is a testosterone boosting vitamin apparently. That's what the research says, but it's just sleep and you'll get a lot more testosterone than any sort of like little vitamin. Then calcium is good, but the one that I'm getting out of this, this the one that I bought this for is magnesium. Magnesium is a very good supplement that prevents you from cramping a lot. And I take two pills of this because I'm a big guy and the doses are pretty small in this specific brand. The other one that I have was ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a, it's a herb. So the thing that it actually does is that it decreases your stress level and your stress level and testosterone, they correlate. So the higher stress level, the lower your testosterone, the higher testosterone, the lower your stress level. Stress level. So this lowers your st stress level, thus letting you get more testosterone. And um, these ones, I, I, I just get when they're on sale. Normally I didn't get them because it just costs too much, but when they're on sale I get them. Another ones that I don't have right now on me currently, but I, that I would have if I had the money right now, I would have um, vitamin B. Vitamin B, I don't take always, usually, but I take it whenever I get an injury, so like whenever I pull a muscle, whenever I rip a muscle, whatever. I like to take a vitamin B because I can feel it speed up the recovery, and it's a recovery sort of supplement. Then another one is um, fish oil. It's good because it's a, it's a healthy oil, and oils, they, they support your hormone producing um, system, which is your testosterone. And the one that you shouldn't be getting is like all those multivitamins, like those male vitamins, female vitamins, those are useless. Don't get melatonin because like, even if you want to sleep, don't get melatonin because it's a hormone and you're essentially doping yourself, which is not good. Then uh, I think that's it, yeah. Don't, don't get too many vitamins because if you eat well, you shouldn't be worrying about them at all because they come through your diet. The last major, the fourth aspect of your supplement collection will most likely be a stimulant. The one that I have is a pre-workout and um, look, this one's not essential, but after school when I'm bugged, after school when I'm very tired, um, I really need like, a pre-workout to get me going to a gym or just lay in the bed and sleep. And the one that I have is a Musashi one. This is not the best one, but it still gives you like the tingles, it still gives you like a mental focus. It doesn't give you a whole lot of energy, but it puts you like into the zone. And I got this one because it was on sale. Because the pre cards they can get pretty expensive. And like the more expensive a pre card is, it doesn't guarantee the quality. So you gotta pre card and protein, you should really like put time into researching because even I have put time into researching them and I still can't find like an indefinite best pre account. The ones that I can tell you that are bad though, bad though, is C4. C4 is horrible. And anything from what, like uh, Chemist Warehouse, I've tried like a bunch of stuff from there, no good. Um, the ones that look too crazy are usually usually pretty bad because like they try to compensate. The ones that are usually the best are the ones that uh, like kind of look dodgy, but they will also like give you dodgy side effects. So you realistically don't try to get anything too stimulating. I like to stick with this sort of like 
medium level uh, stimulant because I don't want to stay up till 4 a.m. because my freedom got still kicking in. Stuff that you shouldn't be getting is um, you shouldn't be getting protein bars because they're usually very high in calories and very low in protein, like the, the ratio is off. Then you shouldn't be getting BCAs because uh, those they, they barely work, no point to them. You shouldn't be getting uh, sh fat burners because they they're not effective at all and uh, they're not good for you health wise. And uh, you shouldn't be getting Greg Dusset's cookbook because Greg Dusset is a fraudulent uh, man and you should not listen to him. And so, yeah, to wrap up the video, get whey isolate, get uh, creatine, get like a few vitamins that you think you need. So for me, that's magnesium and B vitamin occasionally, and ashwagandha because it was on sale. And then get pre workout, maybe, if you feel like you don't have enough energy. If you do, don't get onto it because then you'll develop a sort of relationship with it that you won't be able to leave behind and you'll crave it, you'll basically won't be able to go to, you know, to the gym without it. And right now I'm, I'm I'm controlling that but it might get out of control. So yeah that's it. Thanks for watching. Tell me if you want to see more gym content. Peace.